Hi everybody, welcome back to Daisy and welcome to Iztech or Iztech. Iztech? I think we call it Iztech. A wonderful new map. Um, so in this video I'm going to show you how to install it on your local PC server and then also on your remote community server up in the internet. I always recommend that you have a local server for, for PC so that you can test not only compatibility with mods um, and you can create content and play the game sort of single player but also you can come across it's a lot easier to figure out problems with installation on your local server than it is on a remote server especially if there's some clashes with mods and things like that so if you haven't seen it before i'll put a link in the description down below how to install a local daisy server um, and then you can you can you can do that so here's so this is his take i'm just flying around in zombie looks very good doesn't it so let's Let's exit out of here. Let's let this quit out. And as with most things Daisy, everything starts off in the Daisy Steam Community Workshop for Daisy. So go to the workshop and then you want to search for IsTech and then you'll want to subscribe to it. Um, now there's a couple of um, required mods as well. CF, you want, so you want to subscribe to them, and DABS Framework as well, and you want, you want to subscribe to them. Once you've subscribed to them, what you want to do is close Daisy down, close the launcher down, and open it up again, and then it will download and update the mods that you want. But we'll come back to that bit in a second. As that's doing that, let's just have a quick chat about um, Iztech. So there's a couple of slightly unusual things about the way that we install this um install this map first off uh, it has got these reliances cf and devs framework so we've got to make sure we install them install them on our local server and on our remote server also the mission files aren't included with the steam mod we've got to get them from uh, github and then within those mission files the um the, there's uh, an area flags uh, file that is actually um, squashed up as well so we've got to make sure that we unpack that as well so there's there's a couple of little things that we can trip ourselves up on as, as we're doing that so once you've restarted daisy it'll have downloaded all these mods if you haven't got them already so let's go and um let's just have a quick look through the instructions and always read the instructions because by the time you watch this video the instructions might have changed but you'll see a link to their discord uh, zarge's discord so head on over there and then what that will do, that will then give you a link to the mission file. So these are like the XMLs and the JSONs, you know, the types, the XMLs, the events, the XMLs, all that sort of stuff, the good stuff that tells the uh, DAISY about the economy of, of your particular server. So what you want to do is you want to click on the green button and you want to download the zip of this particular um, uh, GitHub. And that will then download to your um, downloads folder. I just found that. There we go. So it will say something like is tech mission files main and you'll want to extract that and you'll end up with whoop, where are we gone? Is tech mission files main and you'll get a readme and the mission. If we go into the mission, you'll see this is the one I'm talking about, this area flags uh, archive. So you want to extract that or unzip that as well. And once you've done that, the only other thing we really want to do is we want to change the name of the folder because at the moment it's called mission. But I would change it to something like empty dot is tech because that, that's kind of a similar name to, to what we have the other ones. So then what you want to do is you'll want to copy that and then you want to go to where your server is on your hard drive. Um, it's normally in, say, local disk C, program files, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, then Daisy server. And then you want to go down to the missions uh, folder and you'll just want to paste it in you see i've already got it here empty dot is thick so so that's there now once we've got that there what we want to do is we just want to copy the, the name of it and then we want to open up our server dz.config file this one here and then so you'll be up here so you just want to scroll down scroll down so you get to the template equals and it probably says uh, daisy offline dot generous plus or daisy offline dot enoc or, or something like that and you just want to paste in the empty dot is tech name so that means that when the server starts it knows to start with that particular that particular map so the next thing we need to do is we need to make sure that the mods are installed as well on our server so to do that if we go back to our server and then we go up one daisy will probably be in the same folder 
And if you click into the DayZ folder, we want to click into the Workshop folder, you'll see all your mods. Now, if you're a bit lost, don't worry. If you go into the DayZ Launcher, go to the Mods bit, and then click on the little arrow by any of the mods. Click on the three little dots, and it says Open Folder in Windows Explorer. So you can click on that, and it says, look, don't mess around with anything. Say OK. That will then take you straight to your workshop folder inside DayZ, which is really cool. So we know that we need to make sure we've got Dabs Framework, Community uh, CF, and IsTech. So control click those and then right click, you know, copy those, and then go back up and then go into your server, then right click and then paste them in. So, so they all then appear in the correct place. So they're there. So what we need to do now is the keys. So each mod has a key. So go into the, in fact, probably the easiest way is if we have another window open. Let's have a look. Let's close that one down. Let's go into, so if we have Daisy server open there. there is, so we can go into community framework, go into the keys, copy that key, and then go down to the keys folder and you would paste that one in there. So that's Community Framework. Then we go to Dabs Framework. Uh, I don't think there's two copies, but for some, for some reason made a copy. So copy that. Go into the Keys folder for the server. Paste them in. And then finally, it would be the IsTech keys copy that one and then go into the keys folder and paste that so that would be there so the next thing we need to do is we need to uh, edit our batch file our windows batch file that tells the server how to start what mods to start with so in my case it's called start zombie admin but you just edit that with notepad plus plus and then what you're looking for is the is the start line all right and this and then you look along here and there'll be, uh, you, you'll probably be familiar with this anyway, but there'll be a section about mod. So it'll be within inverted commas, and it'll say inverted commas dash mod equals at CF, and then for me, I've got zombie admin tools on there, so it's semicolon zombie admin tools, raft, free helicopters. Now, this may or may not be important, but when I was trying to install this on a remote server, um, I found that if I put it's tech and dabs framework at the end it worked now that might just be coincidence but i did it another way and it didn't work to start off with so make sure that you've got uh is tech and dabs framework at the end so semicolon at is tech semicolon at dabs framework if you're not sure about the spelling for these remember if you go into here you can just left click and then you can copy the at so you get the spelling exactly right so you could then save that, go back into your server, double click on your batch file, your batch file will then start up, and then you can launch Daisy. Um, go, go into the launcher, and it will find us show. So you start zombie admin, that's gonna fire up. Ooh, I think I've got, I've got numerous versions of it running at the moment. Shut all that down, so start zombie admin, Go into the Daisy launcher, go into servers, go into LAN. Let's just refresh that. So it's, it's called local. I haven't changed the name of it, but as you can see, it says it's tech. Um, yeah, we had two versions of it running, didn't we, at the same time? Right there, we've only got one. And we can click on, we say we've got six mods, and then you could say join, set up DLC, and mods, and join, and that would then fire us in. So as you can see, there's a few more steps than normal, so we've just, just got to watch ourselves with a couple of those things. So the next thing now is we've got it running our local um, computer. Let's just shut this down. Let's get it running on our remote computer as well, our remote uh, server. So what you're going to need to, for this is you, you're going to need your FTP program. Let me just take a sip of my coffee. It's quite a long video, this one. Now, I use FileZilla. There's plenty of videos out there that show you how to use FTP. Um, but if I just go File, Site Manager, that's the one, just connect. So we're connected already. So what you can see here 
on the right hand side in this box this is actually my remote server so this is my nitrido pc server out in a data center probably around london somewhere like that and we've got all the um all the mods there and then we've got the missions folder and then on the left hand side what you've got here is this is my local pc so we can see so there's daisy and there's my daisy server as well now you always want to install well i think you always want to install your mods from your daisy workshop folder because these will generally always be the latest versions because the thing to remember is steam as far as i'm aware doesn't update the mods in your server folders automatically like it does the mods in your daisy folder so always install for, from here so all we want to do is we just want to Make sure we've got Daisy standalone selected on the right hand side and then we just go down and we would go community framework right click upload and then dabs framework right click upload and then is tech right click upload so that would then get wait for them to finish it and then the other thing we want to do is we now need to add the keys don't we so if you go to the keys folder on the right just open that up so you can see all the keys down here in the bottom right hand corner and if we just go back up to CF, open that up, see where it says keys, see where it's got the key down here. So we just, and then right click, um, upload, that put that over to there. Dabs framework, open that up, go in the keys, see the keys here. So right click, uh, upload, that would then add it over here. And then finally, we've got um, Istec here. So click on the keys folder, there's the key. So right click, upload. And the keys are the way that, the, the server can kind of confirm that um, the 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 add-ons it's running and the add-ons that the um, the local version of Desi running are kind of they're, they're singing from the same hymn, hymn sheet. They're making sure that they've got the the right things going. So we've got kind of the bulk of the add-ons now. So now we need to add the missions. Now this actually is where you would probably this is where you go back to your local server. Actually, this is where a local servers come into. Uh, handy so we've got daisy server here so if we go on the left then if we go down and then we'll find the missions folder there we go there's the missions folder and then we've got empty dot is deck there okay so if we go on the right hand side we can go down here and I'll hit the plus and open that up there we've got empty dot is tech so what you do is you would just left click on mp missions come over to empty dot is there right click upload and that would then upload that um, into that file so this is all the xml's it's, it's all that sort of stuff just be aware that what i would suggest you do is when you open it up um delete the storage folder if it's copied that well it will copy that from your local server otherwise the local server settings in other words you know where your character is will then some, will appear in your is tech folder also remember when you do, do this sort of stuff and um, when you add a new map to your server and you switch over to the different um mission to the different map um, your characters start again, you know, you can't swap them over. But it doesn't mean that the old characters on the old map aren't deleted. As long as you don't delete the storage uh, underscore one folder, the characters will be there when you flick back to that map, you know, in the future. So now we've done that, I kind of all the information is there on the on the on the server. What we need to do now is we need to tell it to start with the Istec mission, the Istec map, and we need to make sure it starts with the correct um, mods running as well and this will this really will vary depending on the provider of your um, of your server so for example on nitrado you go to expert settings and that gives you access to the server dz.config file and this is the way you have to edit it and then you stop your server and then it will let you edit it and then you scroll down and just like on our local server where there was a template this used to be a mouse server now it's template equals empty dot is tech so we could then save that and um, that means that when the server starts it will start with that but what we also need to do is you need to make sure it starts with this with the right mods and in with nitrado you just go to um, general settings scroll down and you'll see additional mods so th th what we're in effect editing here with nitrado this is the start file this is the batch file but we can only access it like this and so we've got cf zombie amaritals daisy dog free helicopters raft is tech and as you can see i've got them up right at the end semicolon at is tech semicolon at dabs framework save the changes once you've done that restart the server your, your server will then will then fire up 
Um, and then that, my friends, is it. Um, you have installed um, Iztec uh, on your local PC, and you've also, that's a bit of a nasty picture, isn't it? And you've installed it on a remote PC as well. And again, I've said it before, but having that local PC to do the installations on first, just to get you familiar with with any potential problems you can have. And also the fact that what I do, and although I didn't really show you in this video, is that when I fire up the map on my local PC, I do have a wander around, you know, I, I visit villages and I check to see if things are spawning in. I check to see if um, zombies are spawning. In. So you know that the, the basic operation of the map is working correctly. So that when you, if you could just go in blind to a uh, community server in the cloud, what can happen is you may get the map on there and people may, may well be spawning in, but there's no zombies or, or there's no items spawning in. Generally, if those two things are spawning in, items and loot and zombies, you've, you've probably done an okay installation and it's probably gonna work. But there we go. Hopefully you found that video useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.